The U.S.'s first major storm left behind picturesque ice creations and opportunities to play in the snow. But as officials said on Monday, this storm was and is very dangerous. I have the very sad news to report that in addition to the 13 confirmed deaths yesterday, the Erie County Department of Health Medical Examiner's Office has confirmed an additional 12 deaths, bringing the total for the blizzard to 25 deaths countywide. That number is expected to go up, not just in New York State, but across the country, as rescue crews struggle to reach both residents and drivers trapped during the blizzard. New York State was already trying to recover from a blizzard in early December when this last storm hit. Historic storms are no longer historic to us. That's become a way of life in our state, and that's results of climate change, as you see, see extreme weather events all over our country. But all of us in state and county and local government know we had to be prepared for the next big one. The storm forced U.S. airlines to cancel thousands of flights meaning hundreds of thousands of travelers nationwide have to wait and wait to get to their destinations. While in South Carolina, a frozen pipe that ruptured has put that state's largest food bank temporarily out of business. All of that food is underwater and ruined, and then all the food in our refrigerator and freezer that we serve, we had to take all of it out. It's, it's all underwater. Meteorologists say temperatures nationwide should rise during the week, making it easier for the ice and snow to melt. For residents of the Buffalo area, that break in the weather can't come quickly enough. Another 30 centimeters of snow is in the forecast through Tuesday. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera.